Hello, hi everyone, it is I, the one and only, Silver the Hedgehog here, and I'm from the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll present you our next Let's Play for our channel. And it appears to be we're going back to the past from the Rabbit series, the one that started it all, which appears to be by the forms of, as you can see, we are playing Rayman Raving Rabbits for the N Nintendo Wii version, as you can see that the version we're going to be playing through. This game also came out on the PlayStation 2, of course, but the only difference between the two is that, well, obviously the PlayStation 2 version gets the actual controller so that you can able to access to play the game. Whilst the forms of the Nintendo Wii version obviously it does have motion controls and all that stuff. The game also later released in 2007 on the Xbox 360 version where it's pretty much exactly feels a bit too similar to the PlayStation 2 counterparts except well, they actually added in some additional uh, exclusive minigames on the 360 version, as well as widescreen support for most of the actual gameplay, and also same applies for HD graphics and stuff like that. And there's also another difference from here, but we'll discuss more on that later. But for now, uh, the main focus of this entire Let's Play of Rayman Raving Rabbids, as you can see, is by going through story mode, of course. Because, you know, that's what most of the Let's Players always attempt to go for this particular mode. So either way, we'll just uh, go ahead and select Story Mode. And uh, we'll select this file right here, because I'm going to be playing this on my own time. So for now on, we'll just go ahead and utilize... Oh man, I can't select, like, Sonic's uh, full name. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll just go ahead and use... Um, S for Silver, Shadow, or Sonic, whatever you want to decide to go for that. But of course, since I'm Silver the Hedgehog here, so I think we should probably go for, uh, STH, stands for Silver the Hedgehog for short. So, because, um, unlike the future games, it does allow me to able to add in some more names to the table. So let's begin with Rayman Raving Rabbits for the Nintendo Wii. So this is how the story began. Basically, uh, Rayman, alongside with the uh, the baby Glowbox, they did manage to able to gather around in a picnic, and then turns out they just managed to got encountered by those rabbits. That uh, not only does it try to able to take over the world, but also that but the particular big guy. I don't know what exactly what his name is because I know for the fact I have already. Uh, play this game for quite some time, but either way though, that's as far as it will go. Because basically, we're getting dragged over to this particular huge coliseum, which it has uh, four doors, including the fifth one on the center, which means, uh, yes, unlike the forms of a traditional Rayman platformers, ranging from Rayman 1, Rayman 2 The Great Escape, as well as Rayman 3, Luminar's Havoc, uh, basically, this particular game is basically a party game of some sort, each with its own mini games and all that stuff. So here we go with this first mini game here. Uh, bunnies don't give uh, don't give gifts. Uh, deliver the package before it explodes, and then just shake the Wii remote and nunchuck up and down after one thing to another as run as fast as possible. And one thing I liked about the actual Rayman Raving Rabbit series uh, is the fact that I kind of like how he did on the Mario Party games is that uh, if you start the minigame off, it does manage to show us the introduction cutscene right there. So in this case, in this first minigame here, all you need to do is basically just, you know, 
why I called the Wii Remote a nunchuck, like, one at a time. Because, you know, I think of, like, uh, the running tracks from the likes of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, basically. Although, except, this game came out before Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games in, uh, Beijing 2008 installment. Well, in this case, the first entry in the series, as far as I'm aware. So yeah, basically, uh, the whole entire objective for the, uh, for the whole game, actually, is the fact that, well, in each and every single day, because, yes, yeah, I say days, uh, you're gonna be going through, uh, five selections of mini-games within each day. So either way, kind of like how it did on the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games system, except, well, it doesn't take place in the Olympics Festival or something, so instead, uh, we need to come across into that a lot, and every time you go to these mini games, they always it's all depending on random. So either way, though, that usually lasts fast from the case. So next mini game we have is bunnies don't know what to do with cows, so throw Daisy at least 60 meters. So you swing the Wii mode quickly above your head, and then press A or B to throw the cow. So it's basically it's kind of like the same uh, control scheme as as you remember from the likes of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games on Hammer Throw event. So, either way though, it plays pretty much exactly similar from here, except, well, it takes place in the Rayman universe. So, either way, um, yeah, basically it's how to likely just, you know, wackle the Wii Remote or just spin the Wii Remote in the, uh, I don't know what uh, degrees you might go for, but either way though, let's get ourselves a good timing right there. And, um, honestly, this minigame is actually pretty easy, though. Same applies to the first one as well. However, though, I will admit, though, right away, is that, as you can pretty guys can clearly tell, uh, this game only requires us both the Wii Remote and Nunchuck combo to able to play the game. Although, I will admit, uh, right here and right now, there are a few times that I might well able to come across into my Nunchuck glitches once in a while. So, either way, because I understand that uh, we did have our nunchucks for a very, very long time at this rate. So there were a few times, though, that my control might actually just go all over the place sometimes, especially when if we get to uh, the next set of uh, set of mini games, as you can clearly tell, as you can see. So either way, uh, that's two mini games done, and now let's move on to the third mini game. So let's see what we got here. So we have bunnies like to stuff themselves. Um... Get them as fast as possible for 300 points. So draw over directly over the line of the green, uh, you know, for that particular model, and draw it onto there with the Wii Remote itself. So it's basically it's like a draw mini game, except well, you can just essentially deliver the food to uh, one of the rabbits. So yeah, that's how it goes basically. So. But I will admit though right away also is the fact that I'm not exactly, if, uh, it's probably just me, but I'm pretty sure this might be my first time playing for the actual thing. So either way, don't expect things, you know, too much specific, but that again though, we'll uh, consecutively, we'll just find out for ourselves. Yeah, as you can tell, if you mess things up, you'll lose points, so you have to be very careful with that, so... Now, in the beginning part, it's not so hard, but until later on, though, it gets ridiculously difficult, though, which we'll point it out whenever we get to, uh, certain points throughout the weekend, so... But I digress. So, yeah, basically, you just have to, like, join the line on the actual current spawn of the shape. Now, as you can see on that candle right there, that actually represents the timer, because if the time runs out, then, basically, the minigame itself is finished. So, yeah, you, you probably get the idea to be expected at that point. So, luckily for me, though, I did manage to reach for about 446 points in total. So, either way, though, that's how it goes, basically. Now, unlike the forms of how it does it in the future installments, except Rayman Raving Rapids 2, uh, both of those games, mainly with the forms of Rayman Raving Rapids, as well as the sequel, Rayman Raving Rapids 2, uh, did manage to be able to feature Rayman as a playable character. Whilst well, until when it gets to the point until TV party and onwards, um, it's just most likely going to be focusing on just Rapids itself. Which, to be honest with you, um, I don't mind the Rapids too much. Well, at least uh, some people seem to say they're kind of like the equivalent to uh, the Minions from the Despicable Me film series. But honestly, I think uh, the Rabbits are a bit more better than the forms of Minions, in my opinion, because, well, honestly, well, I'll explain that more later. So bunnies are fantastic dancers, so basically just keep time uh, during the, uh, the whole song to reach for a score of 750 points. So, 
basically, uh, if you whack all the, if you try to able to strike a podium on the left, you have to use the nunchuck, and then if it goes on the right, basically you have to use the Wii Remote, and if it goes likely at the same time, basically you're gonna have to shake both the Wii Remote and the nunchuck all t get together, so that way you can able to actually get some points or what have you, so... That's how it goes, basically. So either way, though, let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah, it's basically, it's kind of like a standard, uh, Dance Dance Revolution kind of game. Like, except, well, the only major thing about this is the fact that, obviously, you have to deal with motion controls instead of the analog stick controls or triggers or something like that. So, yeah, I suppose another thing I'd like to mention is the fact that, uh, there's actually a... Uh, another unique thing that has been added to the 360 version, which I probably should show this off until by the end of this video. Oh no, really? Really game? Oh, really my non Wii Remote controller? Oh, there goes my first loss on this particular point. Yeah, because uh, I have to basically just get used to how the fact that I know I had this old nunchuck for a very, very long time, so there were a few times that my nunchuck will just start to go mess up at points, so... Yeah, I need to be able to fix that up at some point or another, so... Yeah, forgive me if I botched it, so... It's no use! <sighs> anyway, so basically... Um, in order to actually claim your victory on this minigame, especially noticeable for the majority in each day, is that... Uh, basically, you always have to win every single minigames before you move on to the, uh the fifth uh, door that is usually opens up in the center of the Colosseum. But uh, the catch is though, is the fact that you have to clear at least three minigames, and if you do complete three minigames, it's, in it's entirely up to you. Uh, basically, that you would able to actually access the forms of the actual, the last portion of the entire day, which uh, we're probably not gonna talk about this too much until after we're done with this particular dancing minigame, as you can see right there. So basically, in this mini game right here, is the fact that you must be sure you need to bypass, or in this case, you need to pass through all the phases of this dawn sequence. Because if you somehow pass all ten of them, if I recall correctly, because if you could tell by this law, um, oh wait, no, I think it's like nine sections, if I like to say so. That um, that way you can able to actually complete the entire uh, portion of the mini game. So. Yeah, that's how it goes, basically. So either way, though, because, yeah, as you can see on this little uh, gauge department, you always have to be increasing the green gauge at all times, because if it goes completely in red, uh, that way uh, the actual minigame itself is already over, like I've shown this to you all already, due to the fact that my uh, nunchuck just wasn't working with me very well. So, yeah, because uh, as for the most part, though, this game did first came out in 2006, and then, as I mentioned this before, um, the Xbox 360 version later came out in 2007, where it does add up some, uh, quite a number of things. Like, I noticed on the 360 version, as far as I realize, is the fact that it does have a very unique, uh, controller, which appears to be, or a unique peripheral. Even though it's kind of a little bit dated now, which appears to be the actual eye camera for the Xbox 360, uh, kind of, uh, accessory, or... The eye vision camera, which it attempts to utilize with that with certain mini games, but then again, I'm not gonna discuss on that too much because the eye vision camera for the Xbox 360 seems to be a little bit more outdated compared to the forms of how it does it on uh, most peripherals nowadays. So either way, I just want to classify that. Oh yeah, every time you complete those dance sequence, then you would unlock yourselves. Uh, some new songs in in the actual jukebox. So if in the end you can able to listen through. All of your favorite musics. I'm thinking this is something to do with pop culture references or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little bit convincing for myself. So bunnies have a soft spot for plungers. Uh, save the baby uh, glow box and aim with the Wii remote and fire with your B button and quickly flick the nunchuck to reload the actual ammo count and then press the Z button to able to just well do a crossfire. So yeah, every time you get into those sequences like this, uh, you always have to do like a, some sort of like a archaic, um, uh, like a auto running, uh, kind of, uh, shoot 'em up kind of mini games, I suppose. I don't know if I truly explain this very well, probably because of how the fact that this is my first time experiencing the game overall. So either way though, I just want to classify that. 
There's also another versions of this game as well, which appears to be the Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS counterparts, but the only difference is between the console versions than the likes of the handheld counterparts is that uh, the console versions, including the PC Steam version here and there as well, um, it appears to be a party game, which, you know, you have to deal with all sorts of mini-games to go through likely different parts throughout each day. I think there are a grand total of 15 days to complete it, so either way there was one to classify that for that specific tally. Now, compared to the Game Boy Advance, as well as the forms of the DS versions, is that both of those versions of the game are entirely different, like those two games or these two versions or the handheld counterparts, they are platformer games. Like the Game Boy Advance version plays out very much identically to Rayman 3 on the Game Boy Advance, except what I've noticed on the Game Boy Advance version are considerably to be, I don't know, it's probably one of the weaker versions of the entire uh, 2D platformer game, probably because I've noticed something on uh, fr uh, frame uh, radar. I uh, did manage to point it out with certain glitches and also some of those technical difficulties during the forms of, uh, you know, with Rayman Raving Rapids on the Game Boy Bands. At least I did manage to go myself the DS version, which appears to be likely a 2.5D platformer with uh, some certain uh, special abilities and stuff like that, which I could appreciate if I was going to go for that Let's Play, but unfortunately though, we still are pretty much lacking when it comes to the forms of capture cards department, so yeah, forgive me on that part, so I just want to classify that, so. And yeah, the ultimate goal in this game in particular is the fact that we need to save all of these uh, baby glow boxes because, well, you know, you just have to save them before the rabbits might actually conquer the world. Did you know about the fact that most people seem to already know this at this point? Uh, this game was originally going to be Rayman 4 as a prototype back in 2005 or 6 during the beginning of 2006. But then later on though, that uh, since it now the, the, the game itself is that now calls it Rayman Raving Rabbit, it actually becomes a party first. Well, in this case a party game first. So yeah, I just want to classify that because even then though, because I've seen the actual trailer of that for quite a while ago, and then uh, as far as I can tell, the actual trailer can be pretty much dark at certain point throughout. But then again though, it's just a little bit of a, uh, just, you know, a little bit of a concept when it comes to the forms of the prototype support, and how dare you slap me? I mean, jeez, I never know of what's gonna come, but anyway. So basically, in these particular mini-games, as you can see right there, uh, you have to take down all kinds of rabbits, and then if you do so already, well, basically, we're might as well able to guarantee to free one of those, well, as soon as that thing itself is going to explode, well, it usually just goes like a pop-up, we managed to rescue the baby glow box. So either way, uh, that pretty much takes care of this particular mini-game, and also the first day of Rayman Raving Rabbits, as far as the actual single-player campaigns goes. Yes, this game also has multiplayer as well, but unfortunately though, I don't think I can able to get a chance to show that off, because otherwise, I think we might actually go through all the mini-games of the entirety of the whole entire thing which I assuming so anyway. And after when you complete a certain amount of days, you are able to get yourselves a plunger? Huh, no wonder why that has become a collectible for that specific game, but again, video game logic aside of things, but you know. Now after we're done with all that stuff, we ended up in some sort of kind of reminds me of a prison cell, except, well, it takes place in a huge arena coliseum. So what you can do from here, you can able to actually do all sorts of things for this point, like if we sit down on a toilet seat? Uh, basically it tells you the actual replay mode, so that way you can able to revisit some of those mini games you have not played through yet. Which, uh, it really helps though, because that way you can able to get yourself some progressioning when it comes to percentages or what have you. And also, if we see on this particular window, as you can see, well, despite the fact I'm going to be talking over it for this point, that, uh, we didn't do anything at all from that specific area, apart from, well, that bird just somehow just do a little bit of a pook. 
So, yeah, that seems a little bit out of place there. So, uh, I guess, some fundamentally though, I think we should probably end things off here. So join me next time, but let's play Rayman Raving Rabbits. It's the fact that we're going to be hit on to uh, day two and probably all the way up to day three. So either way, I'll let you guys end off the video off by showing you guys the different loading screens when you ever play the 360 version. So enjoy.